Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all fantastic and doing well. And thank you so much for all the new subscribers. I do appreciate you. Thank you very much. So, welcome to my midweek shave. And if you're new around here, my name's Chad and I do shaving videos for your faces. Right, let's get on with it, eh? So, first, I'm going to start off with the uh, shaving soap. It's going to be called Praise John Frum. Is it Frum? Yeah, Frum. That's what I'll be using today. Fantastic smelling soap scent it's um it's musk that's what i get and there's something else in it yeah it's fantastic it really is i've took some out out already and put it into my captain's choice copper bowl which is here to my right <laughs> that's what i'm working with with this and there is a lot in there i know there is um i put some in and i was on the phone and then i don't know why i put some more in <laughs> so yeah that's what i'll be doing uh right brush i'll be using is going to be the doppler the doppler you say what is it? 26 millimeter, not synthetic, fantastic. Never used this before, so this will be the first time. I'm just gonna let that sit in my sink. You don't really need to soak synthetics, but I like to just keep them in there because it keeps them nice and warm. <laughs> so what we're gonna be using, razor, here we go. Now I love vintage razors, I really do. And this one here, I've, I've got two of, I'm very lucky to have two. I, I saw one very cheap and I just brought it, and then I saw another one, an Etsy, which was cheap with the box, which I'll show you in a, in a moment. So this is the Wilkinson Sword Sticky, and the reason it's called Sticky is when the grip gets wet, it starts to become quite tacky and sticky, and that's what gives it that grip. Um, I believe this has won awards. Um, I should have done some research into it, really. Um, yeah, it has, it's won quite a few awards, actually. Um, from a designer, which skips my mind. <laughs> Could you come here for that kind of content? <laughs> so yeah, it's a, a twist to open. Fantastic razor. It is a bit steamy in here. I am really hot. I've been in the cold all day. I've come in, had a hot shower, and my face is bright red now. So yeah, it's made in England. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that. It does say made in England in there. I don't know if you can see it. Underneath, it says Wilkinson Sword, but my Wilkinson. It's gone Wilkinson, I think it says now. Wilkson, Wilkson. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it because it's the camera, isn't it? Um, yeah, so that's what I'll be using today. I'll be pouring in that a vintage Wilkinson sword blade. This one is made in England. Fantastic blade, this is. Um, when I first started to get vintage blades, this was the first one I wanted to get. Um, Believe it or not, Paul H Films <laughs> uses them. And I thought, well, they're made in England. I'm from England, I'm gonna try them out. So I tried them out, loved them. And every time I saw them on eBay at the time, I mean, you can't buy blades off eBay now. I literally kept buying them, and buying them, and buying them, and I'll show you what I've got now. So I'm sorry, I should be showing you this. That's what the blade looks like. It's exactly the same on the other side. I literally just put it on the top, don't wanna to drop it, there you go. Let me shut the doors. It's got no overhang to be aware of, just tighten that a little bit. No overhang to be aware of. Lines up perfectly. To me, this is a mild razor. I'm just gonna put that on there and show you my my other um, Wilkinson sword. This is, I, I don't know, I took that out. <laughs> this is the same thing, but this come with a box. Now, I love this because it says Merry Christmas on it. Um, and I believe that these start to become very collectible, these sleeves. It's fantastic, I love that. Um, yeah, so I just love the, like, the graphics on it. It's from the 19, I think it's 60s, isn't it, or 70s. I'm not too sure, I am shaking, because I've, I've just had a monster. <laughs> so that's, I think you can just buy these throughout the year like this. Um, yeah, made in England on the other side. And also on the side I just showed you. That's the other side. If you can actually see it properly. Um, yeah. And I think when it was Christmas, they literally just put the sleeve over the top. And uh, yeah, that's that's how they would sell it. It comes with five Wilkinson blades, which it does, which I'll show you again. <laughs> I keep getting it out. This comes with instructions as well. I was very lucky to get this, to be honest. Um, I was in Etsy having a look, as you do, and I don't think the person knew what they were selling. I brought this for 15 pounds, believe it or not. I've just took out the box. That's what it looks like in the box. And this here is the instructions. Now, I don't know, it's about the craftsmanship. I don't know if you can read that. If you can, you can pause it or whatnot. Um, 
if not if you if if not let me know in the comments and i'll put the uh pages on instagram that's what i'll do i don't know if you'll actually see that but it's gonna go a little bit long this video <laughs> and just tells you about your razor care and stuff and that's it that's the back of it so that's the literature 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 oh, start saying stuff <laughs> So yeah, I, I, this is a, a brand spanker. It's never been used. Um, I don't want to drop it in the sink. So I don't know if you can see that, sorry. But in the inside is a pack of blades. There you go. How cool is that? Fantastic. But that goes in, I don't, I've never used it. I try and get two things. Uh, when I buy vintage stuff, I'm gonna get on the shave in a minute. When I buy vintage stuff, I'm gonna put this back. I'll, I'll, I'll just, two seconds. <laughs> When I do buy vintage stuff, sorry, I'm outside just off the camera because I'm putting this down. There you go, I don't want it to get wet. So when I buy vintage stuff, I try and get two of everything. And while I explain this to you, I'm going to um, start lathering up. I try to buy two things. So mainly soaps, so like, just flicking the brush now. Oh, that's that's really good. It's still holding the water, aren't I? I'm sure that's still got water in. Yeah, that's good. Flicking the brush and then we're going to make some lather. Yeah, I try and get two things of uh, vintage stuff. Because then I can keep one in my cabinet I've got full of like, shaving and stuff. And then I try to, and then I can use the other one. I know they're there to be used, but I just think to myself, if I can keep it as good, you know, nice as I can and it's a nice collector's piece, I can either pass it down to somebody or if somebody hasn't got one and, and, I, and I can see they really want one, I can just give them one, you know what I mean? But this is fantastic, look at this. This knot, I've never used this brush. Never used it. I could see why everyone's hyped about the uh, Phoenix brushes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. And it hasn't been long, you know. I will thank you very much, CB Shaves. He called my channel out. Called my channel out. So that's like you're having a fight. <laughs> he mentioned my channel. <laughs> um, and yeah, I've got quite a few subscribers. A bit, I, bet, I think I've got about eight more. So thank you very much for all you guys who've jumped over. It does mean a lot, it really does. It, it, you know. I just like sharing shaving content with lot more new people, you know. That's fantastic. I think I'm gonna go with that. It's a lot in there. Sorry, I don't want to hit that too hard because obviously it'll break my sink. And it'll probably break your eardrums, you've got to hit it on. Should I put some water into my sink? And I'm gonna put some pre-shave on because my face is on fire for being outside in the cold, so I'm just gonna use today or oh, if I can open it <laughs> there you go suck it off my hands the cube from Phoenix shaving wet the mush it is wet already because I've used it in the shower for um wash my face with it I am rambling a little bit actually saw some so called rambler <laughs> I think should I just get it because I am a rambler and I don't be a walker. <laughs> I don't stop talking about rubbish. I think I'm going to go with that. That'll do. Now, a lot of people just literally rub this in and, you know, and then go put the lather on top. I mean, I'm going to leave it like that because that's what it says in the instructions. And I've seen somebody talking about doing like, you can do it the way you want to do it. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> do it the way you want it. If it works for you, power to you. But today I'm going to try it like this. Right then, let's get lavering and shut talking. Look at that. I can't believe it. It's just fantastic. Bit of water on top and here we go. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot there. There's a lot. <laughs> so, how are you all? You're good? We're in, the, we're in the middle of the week now. Went we were on weekend. And if you are working the weekend, um, I hope your day off comes very quickly. I used to work weekends and oh, I just didn't like it. I can get into the routine of working on Saturday, but power to you guys who do that. I mean that. A bit more water, I think. Dipping the bristles into the sink. Wow, wow, wow. I like this brush. Really like this brush. It's a big brush, 26 mil. I know you can get bigger, but I normally like the 24 mil for me. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. I'm gonna go with that. 
excellent, excellent, excellent. And I don't think I may even go back to the uh, the bowl. Well, I'm just gonna take this water out of the sink, clean up the face. Right, where's my razor? There it is, <laughs> sitting on here. Well, I'm gonna heat up the, uh, the blade now on the razor. And here we go, first pass, let's clean these. I don't wanna be chopping half of my hair away. Right, first pass with the grain, with a Wilkinson sword, brand new. Here we go. All right, sink. <laughs> wow, 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 love it. Yeah, if you ever get a chance, it... <laughs> it'll come out properly in a minute. If you ever get a chance to uh, get a Wilkinson sword sticky, I highly recommend them, I really do. I say there was very like not many people knew about these a few years ago, and then I think people have started to look at them, and uh, they've started to pick up a bit with the prices. But then you you can go somewhere like Etsy. I don't know what it is. You go on Etsy and you get some right deals, vintage wise. And let me tell you, these vintage weapons and sword blades cut like, they're fantastic, they really are smooth, sharp. I don't have problems with them. It's a shame that they don't make them anymore. And I find that a Wilson sword vintage blade, even though I'm not too sure how old they are, I will speak in a minute, how old they are. Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Um, it's gonna be over, I don't know, over 40 years, isn't it? And they're still cut like those made yesterday. Just unbelievable, isn't it? I think back then things were made to last. I think now, like TVs and stuff, you can have a TV and it can last you like five, six years and then bang, it's gone. But I remember having a TV, and I remember being young and growing right up to my teenage years with the, TV, like the old TVs. So what are you all shaving with today? Or what, what you know, what are your shave, shaves of the day? Or are you just using the same stuff as you, you know, what, what works for you? Let me know in the comments, please. It uh, helps my channel, and also it gives me ideas. That is a fantastic first pass. Slickness. Wow. Yeah, if you like a lot, if you like a like, <laughs> if you like um, a musk scent, musk scent, I'm gonna actually put a bit of cold water in it because that's really hot. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fantastic soap, it really is. Um, sorry, that's allowed. I'm gonna rinse my face. Yeah, oh, wow, what a, what a slickness, wow. Wow, let's tuck it right down as well. Yeah, fantastic. Wow. I've never really had a bad experience with PE. That's it's a plane, I can hear. Uh, with uh, Phoenix shaving, like with these soaps or anything like that. They've always made quality products. Um, and I've never had any complaints with it. I don't think that many people do. Second pass. Oh, fantastic. This is fantastic, this brush. Wow, I love the bristles on this. Wow. This might go on for a little bit, because I'm rambling. And I'm rushing it, to be honest. Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> this is Russian, this is Chad's Russian style. <laughs> I try and rush, but it doesn't work, because I start rambling and talking about something else. But I thought, yeah, I'd show you that razor anyway. Um, just nice to see something different, isn't it? As I say, I'm very lucky when I do see them, I do buy them at well, a reasonable price. I won't pay for the roof or something. Right, second pass across the grain. Wow, wow, wow. Turn it around. Wow. 
it's crazy isn't it that shaving it's so relaxing and it makes you feel good you know it's, it's it, for me i've always sh wet shaved not this way i, I started this babe oh god when did i start doing this it was the early days of sinatra lennon and is it man oh, i can't remember the names now i really can't nick shaves i think it was so not, it was Nick Shaves, Sinatra Lennon and Paul H films. I saw you watching first. Then you go on to Ken Serves and carry a number. <laughs> I watch more YouTube than the TV now. When you catch up with all your subscriptions and stuff like that. Or subscribe, what you, what you subscribe to. Wow, wow, wow. This blade is amazing. It's a shame that, like eBay's changed their, the, you know, the thing with buying blades on there now, so I don't actually know where you can get these from. Unless you get them like, I don't know if Etsy are allowed to sell blades. I know Royal Mail, I think they've said something about they won't deliver with, is it? Oh, I don't know, I don't, don't quote me on that. But I'm sure I had something on an email about blades from Royal Mail. I don't know if they're going to stop doing it at a certain time, I'm not too sure. I can't remember if it was wrong now, it could have been past force. It's a shame really. Wow, wow, wow. I need to went up then. <laughs> wow, the slickness is all there. I'm going to go down on this bit. I'll, watch, I'll go and mole it, so I have to watch it. I'm going to chop that off. I'm gonna name him, I think. <laughs> Some skill that he's getting around that. <laughs> there you go. That's the second pass done. Fantastic. I'm just rinsing my face with warm, warm water. <laughs> Trying to talk while well, I've got water around me. Sound <laughs> like I'm drowning. Let's get some of this soap off my ear rolls. Fantastic. I don't think you're going to see it. So slick. Yeah, my blades, my vintage blades. Oh, I'm an itchy nose. <laughs> um, I've, I, I click quite a few. I don't know if you can actually see that. But all in there is, I've got about 10 London Bridge blades made in England. And then the rest are all Wilkinson Sword vintage. So I say I used to always... If I saw them, I'd buy them because they're fantastic blades and it, you know, it's a shame that there's no, you know, company out there who do, who do blades like that, you know, it's a shame, it really is. Anyway, third pass. <laughs> and you know what, all I've done is literally just do, doing that with water onto the brush. And it is fantastic. I've got a lot of soap, to be honest, in the bowl, but look at that. You can actually see that, it's amazing. I've never had a brush like this, so soft. I mean, I've had, you know, I've got quite a few brushes. But now I'm doing videos, I'm, I'm thinking, have I got a lot of brushes? <laughs> because I'm thinking, I'm trying to run out. You're going you're gonna to see the same brush, which is going to happen, you know. But I just like to try and... But this brush, this is a new one, and, and I just like the name, Doppler. <laughs> and I like the um, artwork of PA at Phoenix Shaving. I can't, I can't say P-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-
because I brought them when they was cheap. But I know they go through quite a bit now. I think I saw on eBay last time, it was like 50 pounds. I was like, I don't think I paid that much. I think it's 20, was it 24 with the post? I don't know. I know it won't know more than 30 pounds. And that was with um, the cup, the mug and everything. Some of the refills are more expensive than the actual mug and stuff. Let me put some water on there. Are these like, this This razor, is this, can you get this in the States? I'm not too sure, because obviously it's made in England. I'm sure one or, one or two of these have gone over to the States. But I don't know if it was like available like in the UK. You know, in the UK obviously it was going to be available, but because it's made in England and stuff. But I don't know about America. Did they have an American market with it? I'm not too sure. If you know, let me know in the comments. It was just interesting, that's all. Wow. Do we need the pickup? Anyway, we're gonna rinse the face. And we'll see if we need any pickups. Well, so I was talking to myself then, I was just here. <laughs> I, was, I was just literally going to a zone in a different world then. I was just thinking like when CB, CB Shaves took the mic out my accent, um, it's more, he done more of a Brummie accent, which is people from Birmingham. I'm from the black country, I'm not from Birmingham, even though I sound like I'm from Birmingham. But anyway. <laughs> right, what was I doing? I lost the plot then. So do I need any pickups? No? Normally, oh hang on, just here I think. Right. I do that sometimes. <laughs> and I've probably caught it off camera then. On camera, off camera. I start like thinking about what someone said or, you know, at work or whatever. And I start, <laughs> start talking to myself about it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I've been subscribing up. Or people who are watching this video are like, what is that about? Uh, it's, all, it's all fun and madness. A little bit. Should get my new camera Saturday. Should do. But I think what I'll do is I won't start until the following week because I'm going to get used to it and see if, how it works and stuff. I'm going to put it on and it'll be upside down or something. <laughs> Yeah, just a little bit. There you go. I think I've got it now. Yeah. That's it, got it. Excellent. Right, I'm going to wash my face with cold water now. Or rinse it. <laughs> oh, that's cold. And I know that's smooth. Wow. Oh, that's lovely, that. That was a nice shave, I enjoyed that. So sorry this is getting, you know, going wrong. I'll try to uh, speed it up a bit. But I just had so many things I wanted to show you with my blades and my razor. And I just thought, you know, it might go over a bit. And I know I keep talking about my long video. See, I'm rambling again. <laughs> but it's, like, it's nice to talk to people who are like-minded with the shaving. It really is. It's. I talked to my wife about it and she's like... What are you telling me for? Not, you know. Oh, that's nice. But yeah, that's it, all cleared. Right, what we look at this. Happy days. Call this black on me, that's off my new towel. <laughs> Can't make it up here. Right, we're going for the aftershave matching splash. Aftershave and cologne. I don't shake, I just try and. It's because it's got like, uh, yeah, it's got oils in it. Hang on, wait two seconds. I've got black all over my hands from the towel. There you go. Dee -dee -dee -dee. It's good restrictor, look at that. No, oh, hang on. Bit of a burn under the trim. A little bit on my cheeks now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow. I 
it smells so nice. <sighs> yeah, if you've not tried this before, honestly, take a goosey gander at it. It's really good, really nice. Fantastic, that's a nice scent to go out with. Yeah, it's really nice. Right, we're gonna be using um, Star Jelly Aftershave. Menthol free, this one. Right, just pumping about that much, probably too much. Watch my face shine. <laughs> oh wow. Everything has matched as well. If you if you're you know, if you never tried Phoenix Shavings products, I recommend if you get yourself some. I've got it all over my face, all over the forehead, everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I recommend it, I really do. Woo! That's it. Rinse the hands again. I'm going to turn off the tap. So slick. Face on fire now. Let it's dry in a little bit now. I did have an Allen block to use today, but I don't know what I did with it. I took a picture for my thumbnail. I can't find it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to shut up and let you carry on with your week. Thank you so much for coming to watch this madness. Um, and I'll see you Sunday. So everyone take care. Have great shaves. And I'll see you next time. See you later.